Hi guys, my name is Emmanuel. Welcome to the seventh video of this tutorial series. Today I'm going to be teaching you about the observer communication pattern. Now let me paint you a scenario real quick. Imagine that an outbreak occurs and TV stations, radio stations are publishing information about this outbreak. Now if you're not connected to any of these sources, chances are you're not going to get access to these information. And if you don't, you're not going to be able to act appropriately. The same concept applies to Swift programming language. We are able to subscribe to a channel and whenever notifications are triggered, we will be notified. So we can go buy our guns and learn some Tai Chi. <laughs> so uh, just download the starter project and uh, let's get started. Link is in the description, by the way. First off, I'm going to give a quick tour of the starter project. So now main our storyboard, we can see that we have three view controllers, all connected to the first view, second view, and third view controllers, right? And all of them are also embedded in a navigation controller. So I also went ahead to connect all of these outlets to their various um, view controllers. If we head over to the first view controller. We can see here that first of all, we have our title label connected, and then we have a function that is executed whenever the switch is toggled. So first thing we do is check the status of the switch. So if it is on, we change the background color to green and then the title label to listening. If it is off, then we change the background color to dark gray and then the title label to not listening. We head over to the second view controller. We're actually doing pretty much the same thing right here. The only difference is we need to store the state of the view controller so that whenever the view controller is loaded again, we can return the view controller to the previous state. So to do that, all we did was we created a global variable called second VC is listening. And uh, whenever a switch is toggled, we simply update that variable to set it to either true or false. Whenever the view loads right here, we simply check if the view was listening. So if, this, if the previous state is listening, and what we simply did was we toggled the switch on and then executed the function so that it can update the text, okay? So uh, if we head over to the third view controller, we're basically not doing anything. We have our name field connected and we have our save button ready to get going. Let's run this and see what we have. So first we have this view, click here, next, which is the second view controller. And third, we have this one where we enter our name, click save. Now let's go back. We can see that when we toggle, this is green. And when I go back and click next again, we can see that it remains green and the toggle is on. Okay. So uh, here we can toggle this as well. And next, let's go ahead and add some functionality to this. So the first thing we want to do is whenever the user clicks on the save button, want to get the text from the name field and then trigger a notification that contains that name. Okay, so how do we create a notification? It's actually very easy. What we need to do is say notification center like this dot default dot post. Now we're going to take this option. The first thing we need is the name of the notification. So we can just simply call this. I'm just going to call my Marco. And then for the object, we can just pass in nil. And finally, for the user info, this accepts a dictionary. And this user info is the information that we want to send with the notification. So I'm just going to create a dictionary here. And the key is going to be name. And then the value is going to be our name field dot text. Okay. Default value is just going to be an empty string. Now, rather than doing this and writing the string like this, there's an alternative, which I'm going to show you now. What we could do is create an extension of our ns notification dot name. Okay. Now, after doing that, we need to create a static constant. So I'm just going to call this uh, my notification, and this is going to be equal to. And now I can get this text and pass that right here. So by doing this, we've actually made this reusable. And right here, we can simply say dot my notification, just like that. So uh, this is actually a better approach in case you were wondering. So now whenever the button is clicked, we're going to trigger a notification that contains the name that was entered in the field as the name key. Okay. Now the next thing we need to do, as I said from our uh, scenario is at this point, the notification is being sent. The information is being triggered, but the only way you can know is if you are subscribed to that channel. So what we need to do is head over to our first view controller. And right here, what we need to do is subscribe to our notification. Okay. And uh, 
let's create a function right here. I'm going to say func, and we're going to call this setup observer. Good. Now, in order to set up an observer, what we need to do is say notification center dot default dot add observer like that. Good. Now, for the observer, we're just going to say self. For the selector, I'm just going to say hash selector like that. And we're going to hold off on this. Then for the name, you're going to see the benefit of using the extension. All I need to do is say dot my notification like that. So we reuse that. And for the object, again, we can simply say nil like that. So next thing we need to do is create the selector. So remember from our last video, we need to create an objc func. I'm going to call this handle um, notification. Let's call that handle notification. And this is going to take in a sender of type notification. Awesome. So here we can simply say self.handle notification. Beautiful. So at this point, we're going to know when um, a notification has been triggered. So what do we want to do? We want to update our title label to include the name that was specified in that field. Okay. And how do we do that? All we need to do is say name field, oh, sorry, title field rather, title label, dot text, and this is going to be equal to our, our sender dot user info. So remember that was where we passed in our user info. And the key we want is our name. And all we need to do is specify this as the string. That's it. So this is going to get our name from our notification and assign it to our title label. Now this is actually optional, so we need to safe unwrap that or optional chain that and we're good. So finally, we have our setup observer. So we need to do this whenever the toggle is on. Now just as we have setup observer, we also need to have a function to clear or remove observer. Okay. And uh, to do that is equally easy. All we need to do is say our notification center dot default dot remove observer. And here we're just going to pass in self. So this is going to remove the observers. And uh, we need to do this whenever you toggle it off. And also whenever this view is deinitialized. Okay. So whenever the view is deinitialized, de we need to clear the observer. And uh, basically that is it. So we've set up observer and we've cleared observer. Now we need to do this same thing in our second view controller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of this like that and go over to our second view controller just because I'm very lazy. And let's paste this right here. So um, as we did in the first view controller right here, we want to set up our observer here. We want to clear observer and also right here, we want to set up observer. And finally, in our deinitialization, we want to clear observer, just like that. Now we can actually go ahead and run this and see what we have. So uh, first of all, let's go over to our third view controller. And I'm going to write in my name, it's Emmanuel. So when I click Save, I go back, nothing happens. I go back, nothing happens. Now let's start listening right here, OK? So uh, I click next, click next, and here let's write in our name, Mako, click save, I go back, back. Now we can see that Mako is actually being displayed here, but Mako is not being displayed here, okay? So I'm going to turn this guy on, go next, and this time let's write Emmanuel, click save, I go back, you can see Emmanuel is actually displayed here, I go back, Emmanuel is displayed here. So we can see that the listener is actually working. Now let's go next. Now this actually cleared because we didn't uh, persist the information here, but don't worry about that. We go next. And uh, this time around, let's write um, it works and click save. I go back, it shows it works. I go back, it doesn't work here. So because we're not listening. So we can see that it actually works. And one of the things we need to know about observers is it's a one to many relationship. So you can see that we actually had just one a notification being triggered from this point but we had two view controllers listening to that single um, notification 
So that's one thing uh, you need to know. Okay. So um, this actually brings us to the end of this video. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe, guys. See you in the next video.